Hi, my name is Alyssa Alfonso and I wanted to introduce myself outside of my home studio here in Hollywood, Florida. I'm hoping you'll make the connection of my historic home to my love of repurposing, recycling, upcycling, and creating art. So come on inside and I'll show you a little bit um, about my art practice and we can make a plastic puff. I wanted to share with you a little bit about my art practice. I create work that honors the natural world by repurposing found materials to reflect the abundance of waste that's characteristic to our modern life. Part of my practice are the soft sculpture wall hangings. They are created with hand dyed fabric that's repurposed, um, upcycled, and usually I find or it's donated to me. Um, I take the textile and I wash and dry it and after washing and drying I hand dye in small batches and wash, dry, and iron and after I wash, dry, and iron the textiles I create a collage um, and use machine stitching to create detail and once the collage is finished I cut the pieces from behind and stuff. Um, I kind of like to call them my exaggerated trapunto pieces. Uh, I'll show you a couple more. Another part of my practice is salt sculpture. Um, this series is called Nature's Medicine and the collection features repurposed uh, hand dyed textiles and discarded medicine balls. The pieces are modeled after traditional medicinal plants and botanicals. This is a Spanish hitchhiker and um, it has antibacterial properties and this piece is beauty berry and the berries are edible and have nourishing properties. And this is just succulent back here. Hi, welcome to my studio space. I wanted to share with you um, an ongoing uh, installation that I've created with fused plastics. These clouds represent uh, the overuse and consumption of plastics and declining life in our world's oceans. They are created with um, all kinds of plastics that I fuse with a iron and the clouds are then cut and sewn on my machine and stuffed with more plastic. Um, they are able to be hung or floated. I'll show you some more pictures of those. Welcome to my studio space. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about where I work. And where, where uh, we'll be creating some plastic puffs. I created this fun little installation of them. So let's get started. The materials that you'll need to make your plastic puff are um, reused, recycled um, plastic bags. Any uh, plastic bag will do. Um, the noisier the bag, actually the better. I really um, like these super noisy plastic. This is an apple bag. Um, they really hold the shape of the puffs really well. So, um, so some noisy plastic. You will also need um, some scissors um, for a kid. Um, if you're an adult and you're making these, an X-Acto blade works really well. Um, you will need some tie wraps, like the kind that are on the bread bags. And 
you can also use um, pipe cleaners to secure your puff. When you finish making your puff, you're going to want some monofilament line, fishing line. You can use yarn. You can use any kind of string to hang them. So let's get started. Um, so you'll want to place your plastic um, kind of like in sizes. So your small bags, your medium bags, or your large bags. The larger the bags, the larger the puffs, the smaller the, um, the bags, the smaller the puffs. So go ahead and um, get all your plastic out and you're gonna wanna smooth it out. You know, undo the crinkles as best you can. When there is an end to the bag like this, you kinda just wanna flatten it out as much as possible because when we go to start cutting them, you'll just cut off these tail end pieces. I even have my, um, my paper towel bag, my paper towel plastic, and you can use that as well. When you use the paper towel plastics, like here's, um, here's Bounty, which is nice and big, you'll want to flatten it out like this. And then you have like these weird ends. So you're gonna take your scissor and you can go ahead and kind of bunch up that end and just go ahead and cut the end right off. I usually save these two because I end up making something with them as well. I'll fuse them and I make my business cards or I fuse them for um, my, my, my cloud installation or jellyfish or whatever I'm creating at the time. So now that you cut off the end, it should look like this, and then you have another end. So you want to do the same thing. You want to flatten it out, and then you can gather your plastic and go ahead and cut the end off. So now it looks like this. So you turn it this way. And you go ahead and take your scissor again, and you can slice it right up the middle, and you have a super large piece of plastic. So if you had like 12 or 15 of these, you could actually make a really big plastic puff. But um, I would suggest go ahead and cutting this down again. Which sometimes it's easier if you gather it. So you'll have a piece. I try to square up the edges a little so it actually makes like a rec, you know, like a nice square or rectangle. Um, so that's pretty good. Then I usually lay them out sizes. So you're going to want to cut at least you can do 10 to 15 or even 20 pieces of plastic the same size. So here's another, the other side of that, which now I'm just gonna probably lay this on top to try to get it as close as I can to the size. And I'll trim it up. Now I have two pieces. So I'll leave it up here and I'm gonna start, um, I'll start digging through some of my other plastic. Here's a nice bag that's noisy. So the same thing, I'll, I'll, um, I'll cut off the tail end. And if it has handles like this, I go ahead and cut to where the end of the handle is. So it's like this, and you open it up. Again, so you have a big long piece of plastic. And then you're gonna wanna kinda lay it over your, your pile that, you, that you're starting of large pieces. And go ahead and trim it up. 
to fit in the large pile piece. And then I have like this size piece. So I'm gonna start a pile with this size. Um, let's see. Here are my two, a couple food bags that I have, which these work really well. The hot dog bun bag and the other one is a tortilla bag. And like I did before, I'll scrunch up the end and I'll go ahead and just cut that end piece off. And now I have the two pieces and you'll want to split open the side. And now I have a large piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in this size because it it, it, go, it lines up pretty well. And it's this, pretty much the same size. And then I'm gonna cut my dog bag, same thing. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna lay it over on this pile. So I have my pile of 18 plastic bags that have all been cut to be in a nice neat pile so I'm gonna lay them down and smooth them out and you're gonna want to start folding them like an accordion so what you're want what you're gonna do is line them all up as close as you can and you're gonna want to fold like an accordion you go fold and then you turn and you fold again and fold again, and turn and fold again, kind of like when you make paper flowers, turn and fold again, you want to create the accordion, you turn and fold again, and then you turn and fold again, so you have a nice accordion shape, okay. and you're going to want to take your pipe cleaner or your bag tie and um, go ahead and place it around the middle of your accordion. then once it looks like this I like to trim the edges so um, they look a little bit cleaner and more finished so you can either do a rounded edge or you can do a um, an edge that comes to a point so I'm gonna go ahead and do an edge that comes to a point and you're just gonna cut up hold it and then cut the other side so it ends up looking like a point smooth out the other side and you're gonna do the same thing you're going to cut the edge into a point so it looks like this so after you cut your points you're gonna kind of open your accordion up and you want to start piece by piece pulling your edges up into the middle to start forming the puff. You really have to um, separate the pieces so it gives it a lot of fullness and body. It's another piece right here. right here oh Oops. so it's starting to look like that then I like to turn it over and start from this side and pulling this side pieces to the middle go ahead and grab another piece of plastic and pull it up pull it up pull it up grab another piece, pull it up, pull it up, and go back the other way. Just start pulling all the pieces, separating them. It's 
so it gets nice and full and fluffy. that there's your puff so after you fluff it all up and you keep separating the plastics you got to kind of go back and find where um, where you tied the wrap on which I found where I tied it on and then you're gonna want to take a piece of your monofilament line your fishing line your thread your yarn they're super light any any kind of um, a string will hold them so cut this about right here and then what I like to do is I'll take my uh, string and I'll create like the little um, loop there and I'll come down over here and then I'll tie it right onto the little ear from the bread tie and I'll give it another tie just for some reinforcement, which these things are super, super light because they're all plastic. And your puff. Oops, one second. Is created. And once you hang them, you can fluff them and really um, move the plastic how you'd want it to look. I love it. It came out so good. I hope you have fun making these. Um, I love making them, and I love repurposing the plastic so it doesn't end up in a landfill. Um, I love them. Thanks.